Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Ask Me Anything stream. So today's question is going to be interesting, I think, anyway. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to answer it, actually. But anyway, to begin with, we're going to start by singing our affirmation, but... I'm Rosemary Lonely Knight, just so you know, just in case you happen to be here by mistake. <laughs> I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in leaving behind the pain of the past and rising victorious in your true design life. I believe you have a true design and when you're living in that true design life, you will experience prosperity in every single area of your life, your, your relationships, your health, your wealth, as well as the work that you do. That's what we're all, that's, that's, that's the goal of the Deliberate Millionaire Pathway. It's to get you to that free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched life, which I believe is everybody's birthright. If you're willing to do what it takes to get back to that, okay? Because some of us have strayed uh, a little way away because we become adults and we start taking on stupid ideas that really don't help. And now we want to return to innocence, return to childlike, um, childlike nature, childlike essence because it's the children or it's the childlike who inherit the kingdom not the crazy adults who think that everything we have to take everything so seriously <laughs> and i know that sounds kind of crazy but yes prosperity can be quite counterintuitive you'll discover let's start by singing the affirmation everything is working out for my good i am loved here we go say hello as you come on board all y'all watching i want to hear from you I want to know where you're streaming in from. So say hello. If I don't say anything, it's because I can't see it. So type it again. Sometimes Facebook doesn't show me everything. Here we go. Everything is working out for my good. Everything is working out for my good. Everything is working out for my good. I am loved. I received this from someone who, very good-natured, very good-hearted, very kind person, has taken on a whole lot of people who need support, okay? A whole lot of them, ultimately. is taking them into his, her home, not really sure, actually. Not sure. But his or her home, okay? And, and now finds them, they find themselves in a very desperate situation. They, but how do you quit when you know that you're helping people? How do you, but, and even if you did quit, it's not going to help your situation. So it's like, what am I supposed to do about this? Okay. And that is, that is a question a lot of spiritual people come to. I know for me that that became my story a little bit. It's not, I didn't even see it that way until afterwards I was looking at it and realized that I had taken on a heck of a lot of people's responsibilities before I was ready to. Um, I hadn't strengthened, you know, we, we, I'd become a pharmacist. And so I'd assumed therefore that I was now in a very strong position, forgetting all the debt that I was carrying with me, forgetting all the, well, it was mostly debt that I was carrying with me. And so I'm trying to help lots of people. I took people into my home. I, um, I was trying to help family, all of this and all of the other. So anybody asked for anything, I would just say yes, because, and I look back and I realized that a lot of it, one was very passive. Now I don't want to diminish our ability to support people, but I do want us to become a lot more deliberate about how we support people, okay? About even when we support people. You can only support people from a, period, from a position of strength. You can only do it from a position of strength. If you find yourself in a position of desperation, trying to support other people in a position of desperation, I just think that is just, it's, it's a weird, weird and it's a weird situation. It can be difficult to say no when you, when you are being asked for support. But unless you learn to say no, when you are not ready to support, you will not be able to support as many people as you could have supported if you just waited to strengthen yourself, got yourself to a position of strength, and then been able to offer the support on an ongoing basis if you wanted to. The, the, the choice is yours. For most spiritual people, and that included myself at one point, you haven't learned to say no. You haven't learned 
to attract prosperity yourself. And you are, because you're the, we have a heart, we want to support people, you're trying to rush your vision. And in rushing your vision, you get yourself into a mess as well as everybody else that you're trying to support. But I don't want to diminish the work that is being done. But I want you, those that are not already in that position, to consider, are you saying yes when you're actually supposed to say yes? Or are you just saying yes because you think it's a nice thing to do? You think it's a good thing to do? Your heart won't let you walk away when you know somehow that you're actually not in a position to be of any assistance whatsoever. You may think that it, that sounds callous. You may think, well, if everybody says that, who will? It's not true. There are people that can and who are called to support and they can step up and do it. Not necessarily always you. <laughs> You are not the savior of the world. A lot of spiritual people, they're very co you're very codependent. Uh, I'll be very honest with you. You're very codependent. You are, you are getting your sense of being needed from helping people rather than getting your sense of fulfillment and, and joy and love from the divine. You're trying to get it from people. Okay? And this is how I found myself in a very difficult position, which ended up in bankruptcy and depression. Because I was trying to get my needs met by the people around me. Instead of leaning into the divine and getting my needs met there, then I am able, because I'm connected to source completely, and I know a lot of religious people, you're going to be listening to me and saying, but I am already, I can do it. You, you, yeah, there's, there, I was that person too, so I can see through the nonsense, just so you know, basically. <laughs> so you, you need to be sure that you are getting your needs met in connection with your power source, not with trying to everybody look at you and say, oh, you're such a nice person, you're being so helpful, and we don't know we're doing it mostly, so some of y'all are going to be listening to me and thinking, I don't do it for that reason, I do it because, you know, I have to help people, blah, blah, blah. For a lot of spiritual people, the reason why you're helping people is because it gives you a sense of being needed. I'll just be blunt with you. That's why you're doing it. It's not because you've checked with the divine to see if this is a person you're supposed to be supporting. It is because it gives you a sense of being needed. It is because you know you're called to help a lot of people, but the big vision that you actually have, you're too scared to do, and you're not willing to do the internal work to get to that play power of that place of strength to be able to do the big vision. And so, therefore, you're settling for some some. If you if you've ever read if you've ever read the Bible, there's a whole story of Abraham. And how he was given a vision that he was going to be the, 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 the whatever, father of many millions of people. He didn't even have one child at that point, basically. And so then he circumvented the vision and started, uh, and started sleeping with, uh, with his house helps in order to see, well, if my wife can't give me that child that is supposed to be part of the vision, let me try and get it from some other place. And it just caused all kinds of chaos, basically. And that's what a lot of spiritual people are doing. When you're trying to speed up your vision, you know you're called to somebody, to something more. You know you're called to serve more people, but you're not willing to do the internal work and also have the patience to see it come to pass in the right way. And so then you just do any old thing and try and rush it and then you find yourself in a mess. Not necessarily this person that is asking this question, but I am trying to say to you spiritual people, please be wise. Please be wise. Make sure that you're coming from a place of freedom, that you're free to say yes, as well as you're free to say no. That you're not going to say no and feel guilty for the rest of your life. Because if you, if you know that the reason why you're saying yes is because you don't want to feel guilty, it's not freedom. And it's not a good yes. Let me just tell you that right now. You need to be coming from a place of knowing that you could walk away and it's fine. Because number two, sometimes as well, spiritual people, can I say to you, that you sometimes, you, you don't see people as strong. You see people as weak. And that's why also you can't, you find it hard to say no to people when they're asking you for help because you think you're the only one that's strong enough to help them. You see them as weak. Though you tell yourself that you're helping them, but actually what you're doing is taking away their power. They too are created in the image of God. They don't need your help. They can use your help it's at times if you are the one called to help them but you're not always the one called to help everybody <laughs> so check yourself am i looking at these people i don't even care if you're talking about children here am i looking at these people as in some way less than me because if you are if you're feeling that you're in some way superior because you're somehow closer to the divine or something something or something some 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 story that too is is something to watch out for that too is something to watch out for. I, am, I can do this work a lot better than I could do it a few years ago because why? I see you guys. I don't care where you are. I don't care what you're doing. 
I know that you have the capability to do whatever you set your mind to do. So I don't come to you as somebody that is standing on top of a mountain somewhere that somehow you are lowly creatures that can't do whatever. No, I come to you as an equal. When it comes to our ability to step into prosperity, you are as equal at that as I am. You are able, yeah, I may have a few bits of knowledge that I might want to impart to you because you haven't experienced that knowledge yet, but it doesn't mean that you're weak. I know that you're capable. So that's why when people ask me to give them stuff for free and all of that kind of stuff, I just think, no, <laughs> that's never going to happen. Why? Because I know that you are capable of coming up with the resources to fund the life that you choose. So I don't believe you when you tell me that you can't do this because of this and that and the other, because I know that you're like me. <laughs> and that may seem sometimes like, oh, but you don't know my situation. I know that you're creating an image and likeness of the divine. I know you're powerful. I know you're capable. I know that. You need to start looking at people when they come to ask you for support. Are you seeing them as powerful, capable people? Or are you seeing them as victims that need your help? Watch that. Watch that. That's number two thing to consider. Number three thing is, okay, so you're in this position. You, have, uh, you, you want to support these people. You can't suddenly stop, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, are you doing everything that you know to do to generate resources to keep all of y'all going? So are you, from, a, from an internal perspective, not just praying, so yeah, when I say, when I say not just praying, I mean, because a lot of people, especially particularly spiritual, religious people, when you say you're praying, you are begging and pleading with God and hoping that, oh, please, 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 come and help me, please, come and help me, please, come and help me. And the divine doesn't respond to desperation. It doesn't respond to desperation. Okay? You have to come from a place of authority. You're decreeing and affirming this situation is changed now. From this moment forward, I'm planting a seed of prosperity into my life. I am decreeing. And then you start to write out. For me, I like to write out my affirmations. Write it out with power, with energy. This is what is happening next. I will have the resources to help these people and myself. Blah, 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 blah. So, or so, whatever solution you're, you're needing. If you can't, if you don't even know what the solution is to your particular, how do I solve have, having all these people living in my house? and I don't have anything to give them, what should I do? Write out, I now have a clear solution on what to do about this situation. I have the spirit of the divine flowing through me, giving me a, uh, a clear, clear clarity or clarity of mind so I know exactly what I need to do next. And then you're asking the question, what is the best, most joyous thing that I need to do next in order to ensure that me and all of these people can eat today <laughs> or can eat going forward. And then you have to act on it. It might mean that you have to go and have uncomfortable conversations with whoever, whoever, whatever. It may mean that you have to, I don't know, you might have to start a business. It might mean that you have to, I don't, I don't know what it's going to be. Each, the, the, you, you need to trust that actually everything is working out for your good. And so this situation can be turned around like that. Maybe you need to have conversation. Maybe you need to look to see, is there funding somewhere that I haven't noticed? Whatever. You're going to have to stretch yourself. You're going to have to stretch yourself. You put yourself in this position. You're going to have to stretch yourself. It's either that or quit. And as you're already at the bottom anyway, what have you got to lose? You may as well throw everything at it. <laughs> How can, what is the best thing I can do next? Keep pushing on every single door that you can think of. So you've done your internal work, which is, that you're writing out those affirmations, you're, you're using your visualization, using your imagination, you're, you're really seeing the end goal, the end goal, so you're focused on the end goal here, whereas all of you are prosperous, everybody that is in your house is eating properly, is growing properly, everybody is, is going to school properly, everything is happening properly, you're seeing that you, every morning, every night, in the middle of the day, you are spending time really building out the vision of what you want to see happen, so you're doing the internal work, you're getting clear if there's any fears or anything inside of you, you're clearing them, you're getting rid of them so that you can focus on what is it that I'm creating here, okay? And then you're asking, what is the practical thing I need to do in order to ensure that this vision comes into physical manifestation? And then you do it. 
it might mean that you are, it might, it's going to mean that you're something that is a little bit outside of your comfort zone, probably, and you're going to have to do it. Well, you don't have to do it, of course, <laughs> but, the, but the, the universe, the divine is going to give you a solution. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And then you have to trust what you hear and act upon it. So there will always be something practical that you can do right now in your situation. The solution to the problem is always available to you right now in your situation, though you may not be able to see it, which is why you want to have done the internal work to get clear of all the fears and the doubts and oh my God, and the desperation and all of that stuff, because that clouds your vision. You want to be clear of that stuff. And then what is the best thing I can do next? What is the best thing I can do next? I can tell you stories of when I've really felt as though it's all coming to an end. And somehow it doesn't because I just, okay, I can feel the desperation. I can feel all of that stuff. And when it comes down to it, it's just like, no, that is not my story. That is not my story. That is not how my story ends. So I'm going to stop focusing on that nonsense. And I'm going to focus on what I've decided is happening. What I've decreed is happening. And then somehow doors open in places that I don't expect them. And so that's what I would say to you. You're already in this situation doesn't matter whether you did it for the right or wrong reasons. None of that matters anymore. What matters is you're here. What are you going to do to move forward? Do the internal work, do the external work. And I know it's almost seems simplistic. You, you, you almost, it's almost easier to, for me to say, oh yeah, take a few, actually not, it would, well, it would be easier for you for me to say, oh, take a few dollars here. That will keep you, but how will that keep you going forever? It won't <laughs> basically. So you need to learn how to actually move this vision forward to move it forward consistently or else you'll always be in this position of on the edge of disaster, basically. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be living like that forever. You just don't. So you keep your eyes on what is the big goal here? What was the big vision? And if you did do it passively, that you just did it because you're just saying yes to everybody, then you might, might want to rethink that going forward from this day forward. But for now, this is where you're at. Great, 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 great. It's part of your life experience. It's going to be a great adventure. One day you'll be telling the story and uh, encouraging all the other people who have done something like this and telling them how you came through. Today, however, you need to come through. Internal work, external work, keep moving forward. Okay? So there's something in there for all of y'all, including the person that asked the question, but also for you spiritual people who say yes when you really should be saying no. Check your motivation. Please, I'm not into spending 20 years digging around, trying to find all kinds of reasons what's wrong with you. No, 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 no. We've all made mistakes. doesn't matter. But we don't want to keep making the same ones, okay? And this whole savior of the world complex thing that we have going for us sometimes, it's not useful to creating a big vision. The big vision you're truly called to will be of it will be it will be empowering to you and it will be empowering to everybody that you're serving. So, in order to get to that true vision, you're going to have to let go of the many crazy little distraction visions that seem as if they could almost be the vision, but they seem more they seem less scary than the big actual vision. So you then start going off on random tangents. Stop doing that. Hold to your true vision. And, I'll, and stay on path. There is growing for you to do. There is expanding for you to do. And some of that is going to be stop saying yes when you really need to say no. Okay? You may think that you're doing them a favor. You may think that it makes you a good person. But it just makes you someone who may never live your vision because you've spent most of your time getting distracted by many nonsense here, there, and everywhere telling yourself you're being a good person. There's nothing wrong with that if that's all you want, of course. But if you really want to live to your true design, there are times to say no so that you can grow and actually start living your true vision, not just everybody else's agenda for you. Okay? Okay. And in some ways that can be a hard thing to hear because it can, especially when you start to implement some of these things to begin with, it's, some of the people in your world are going to think that you're being selfish. They're going to think that you're being horrible. But you see the vision beyond... Oh, it's put me back on again. <laughs> you have to see the vision beyond instant gratification. Most of the people that are asking you for support just want your support right now. They're not thinking about what's going to happen or what's the big idea. Or you have to be the one that sees the big picture of your life and decide, is this thing taking me there or is it distracting me from my vision? 
you're gonna have to get beyond any weird ideas of oh this is selfish or I'm not selfish or is this because your definition of selfish is probably given to you by all the people that are trying to make you do what you they want you to do. So <laughs> so you need to be wise enough to know is this is this moving me towards the vision for my life, the true design of my life, or is it just keeping me static and stuck, living everybody else's drama instead of moving forward? Anyway, that's my little bit for today. Share this with someone else. If you have a question of your own, feel free to message me with it or listen, ask me anything post on the page. I'll probably put it in the, in the, in the blurb around this video after I'm done here um, so that you can go and add your questions to the mix. I really want to do these where I'm answering your specific questions rather than just me talking about anything that comes to mind because I can do that. And in fact, I have like over 2000 videos probably of me doing that. But now I want to make it about you guys. I want to serve you as well as I can. But it's, but you know, you have to be willing. <laughs> so put your questions in. Share this with someone else. Much amazing love. Everything is working out for my good. Everything and you're ready to become a proper deliberate millionaire when you're ready to start stepping onto the path of freedom fulfillment financial abundance and a love drenched life then message me the word abundance and i'll get that link over to you so you can find out more about that share this with someone else much amazing love go forth and prosper <laughs>